Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we will actually be looking today at the Windows Security app, which is the antivirus that is actually with Windows 10 and Windows 11 and you don't need anything else than this. One of the first things that happens and um, that unfortunately is a big problem when you purchase a computer every time you will there will always be a salesman that wants to of course sell you antivirus software and the reason why is simple because they're making money out of the sale of the antivirus remember pcs are not what generates a lot of profit for companies most of the time the margin of profit is very small sometimes almost inexistent they have to find a way to make more money selling you the pc so they'll sell you all sorts of things they'll sell you the extended warranty once again for the most part it is something you should not get um, they will sell you antivirus of course because they're going to tell you that you need antivirus but they're not going to tell you that there's already something in windows that works great so you got to avoid these traps when you buy a new PC and you got to say no to everything else that they want to actually sell you. That's what I do. That's what I always did. And I never had any problems. Remember, if you buy a computer with your credit card, most credit cards add one year to the warranty. And a lot of people don't know that, which means if your computer was one year in warranty, well, your credit card extends that to two years because it adds a year of warranty. So you have, in essence, more for the most part, if you buy it with a credit card, two years uh, of warranty, which, uh, you know, in general, your computer, uh, it does happen that computer can fail, but most of the computers you'll buy will actually go through and live on to work for years and way beyond the extended warranty that you paid for nothing. So we're going to take a look today at the Windows Security app and what I will show you is, for the most part, good for Windows 10 and Windows 11. There's a few little things that are different in the Windows 11 app, but not enough to be a big difference. And uh, for the most part, the same um, features are available sometimes just at a different place. So the Windows Security app is included with your computer. It's part of Windows 10. It's part of Windows 11. It's all you need to stay safe. It is a full antivirus software that is there to protect you, that is there to make sure everything's all right. Now, how does an antivirus work? It's very simple. A, a, a antivirus software, a lot of people have the impression that it's always protecting you. It's a line of defense live from what's happening on the internet. It isn't exactly like that for the most part. The antivirus will not protect you from what's happening on the internet um, when you're surfing most of the time. What it will protect you is once something is getting true. So what happens is the antivirus, once it's detecting, detecting that there's a virus, there's malware on your PC, it's because you've breached a rule. You've done something you should not have done. And it's simple. Antivirus is only as good as how careful you are in using a PC online. Antivirus is not a miracle cure. It's not a miracle protection. It's there to try to help if something goes wrong, you get malware. It is in no way 100% and isn't. In, it's in no way there to protect you if you always actually do bad things. A great example as my 15 years of uh, tech duties show almost everybody that breaks the rules get bitten by malware or viruses or ransomware and whatever antivirus they had it doesn't matter that antivirus did not protect them uh, many times and so people have the wrong idea of an antivirus they think that I got a good antivirus I'm safe I'll be okay it doesn't work like that at all and that is why people get viruses because sometimes having antivirus for some people means oh I can be risky online it doesn't matter 
my antivirus is protecting me. Well, it's not the case. You have to stay safe. You have to be careful. And don't do illegal stuff. It's That's where everything is happening. I don't know how many times I've went to people that downloaded illegal movies or music. And then you tell them, well, you know, if uh, you'd... Uh, you now you have to pay the tech guy, which is the equivalent of maybe three or four movies, or you know, or many CDs of music in price. So uh, you just as well go out and buy the music. Um, and so a lot of illegal stuff actually bring malware. It is, of course, the way that hackers work. They know that let's try to give them something free that they want, but in reality, you'll download malware and you will be of course having problems with your pc the uh, antivirus software that comes with windows windows security is also optimized for windows 10 and windows 11. it is in many cases much more efficient because it has been um, tested within the environment by microsoft so um, a lot of antivirus third-party antivirus when you purchase them will slow down your PC. And that is something that is frequent. So, you know, and over protection is absolutely useless. Not only is it more of a nuisance and more of, you know, you trying to find out why this or that doesn't work well, but that's because you have way too much protection. Um, and one of the first reasons why your PC actually behaves badly, having problems, blue screens, not being able to update, often is because you've got third-party antiviruses and way too much protection. And what happens is that not only are you not really more protected, but you have more problems with your PC than the average user. And of course, what you will always say is, oh, well, you know, that's Windows. Windows is buggy. Windows is a problem. No, Windows is not buggy or does not have problems. Windows 11 is rock solid. Windows 10 also. Most of the time, when you have blue screens or freezes, it's not Windows as a problem. Your PC has problems either with some drivers, hardware, or you have software that's installed that's creating problems. And part of that could be third-party antiviruses that are way too uh, intrusive within the system and that create problems. So we're going to have a tour of this uh, Windows security and different videos today and hope that you'll enjoy that. And just remember that antivirus is there to, you know, check if everything is all right, but it will be only useful if you are careful. If you're not careful, antivirus pretty much doesn't do much to protect you. Uh, if you always do bad things. So make sure that your system is up to date because a Windows that's not up to date, for example, when I see somebody say, well, I got Windows 7 without the updates and it works fine, you're probably infected. You don't even know about it because the majority of people that are infected don't even know they're infected and they think they're all right because they got antivirus. No, it doesn't work like that. Security flaws are the worst because they let in whatever hackers can do. And hackers can actually take control in your antivirus might not even notice that the control is being taken somewhere. Um, of course, your system needs to be up to date. That's the number one thing. And then after that, what you do will decide if you're secure or not. Most people never have viruses and never had viruses in their whole life just because they're careful. I get a lot of people saying, you know, well, you know, I don't trust myself with you should. You are the security. Do not think something is protecting you. You are the security. Um, and so if you never had viruses in two, three years, four years, um, you know what? That's because you've been safe and you've been careful all of these things, not because the antivirus protected you. Uh, you see a lot of comments in that direction on the, uh, the comments when I talk antivirus. Well, you know, since I have this, I've never had a virus. It has nothing to do with what you installed at all. It has to do with what you have been doing with your PC. You've been careful. And usually what happens is people are not careful, click on different things, get bitten, and then they install a new antivirus because they think the other one's bad. 
but do not realize that the only reason why now they're not getting viruses has nothing to do with the new antivirus. It has to do with the fact that when you've been bitten by malware once, you are automatically more careful afterwards. And only has to do with that 99% of the time. Anyone will tell you that antivirus is not really protecting you. You are protecting yourself by being careful. So I hope that you enjoyed this series of videos where we're going to show you how the uh, Windows Security app works and show you the basics of how to use it if you do need to use it or have doubts. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.